Wow, now that is how you start a Friday free-for-all edition of the Nightly News. Uh, Ted, the uh, first uh, Friday free-for-all of 2023, let's talk a little bit about Ted Nugent Music 2022 and what's in store for the Ted Nugent fans in 2023. Well, first of all, Keith, I am so inspired, humbled, and honored, and so deeply appreciative to all the real music lovers around the world that still celebrate my Motor City Rhythm and Blues funk brother rock and roll. With Greg Smith on bass guitar, just an absolute grinding virtuoso musical animal. Jason Hartless on drums. We re-released the Spirit of the Wild album, one of my yeah. best ever, with the I love Hair song on it. Yeah. Uh, we released that on vinyl this year. In fact, we have a copy of it here and it's sold out, but we're putting more together. So the music, the music still courses viciously through my veins. I play my Birdland guitar every day. We're going to work on making sure we get a good sound on the nightly nude. But the Spirit of the Wild on vinyl, the Detroit Muscle album on vinyl and CD, and I guess all these other digital accesses. Thank you for supporting my music for me to be able to say with a straight face. Wait a minute. I don't think I've ever had a straight face. I'm too alive to have a straight face. I'm more adventurous than that. 2022 with all the treachery, all the ugliness, all the criminality, all the corruption, all the dishonesty, all the hate by our government and big tech and Hollywood and Disney and tractor supply supporting drag queen perverted tweaking a twerking event. I had the greatest musical year of my life. My tour in 2022 with my crew and, and Frank on the sound and the amplifiers that Calvin Ross at Lone Star Music and I put together and what Tim Miller did with my Birdlands and Greg and Jason, it was a firestorm. So even an old guy like me, which by the way, Keith, I <laughs> wish we could get all the 74, 75, 76 year old rock and rollers out there to come on the nightly nuge and see if they have this velocity see mm. if they have this ballistic coefficient in their spirit and their their linguistics the point being i love you people out there that celebrate real music and just put my 2022 detroit muscle as the greatest musical year of and that's really saying something key the greatest musical year of my life ted <laughs> nugent detroit muscle Cluster Crank 22. Thank you for supporting the fire-breathing guitar player from Detroit. I love you people. 2023. New album? Are you going on tour? And is there any chance that we bring back you coming in on the Buffalo? Well, let's keep our fingers crossed, shall we? And of course, that when you have your fingers crossed, it includes the most important finger of all. So keep those fingers crossed and keep those fingers well lubricated. My point being is that it's only January of 23, and I am so obsessed, drunk, intoxicated, inebriated, maniacal about the mystical flight of the arrow because I have a lot of hunting to do for the next two months. I hunt every day, and the dogs have given me the greatest duck season of my life, and I do play my guitar every day, and I've written a new instrumental called Butterfingers. <laughs> that is just really, really greasy and really a flurry of uncharted territory. In fact, I played some notes on some of my new songs. God hasn't authorized these notes yet, so I'm working with him so they can be qualified <laughs> in the authorized column of nice. musical outrage. Point being is that I still love the music. I would expect that Greg and Jason and I will get in the mystical swamp barn hell zone of recording with Michael Lutz and the Paddlin brothers and reinvigorate this musical energy and, and tsunami that never rests. It never stops. And I'd like to see a tour and a record in 2023. So keep, keep the fingers crossed. Those are very important fingers. Keep those fingers crossed. And let's hope that the uh, rhythm and blues of the Motown funk brother guitar slammer is uh, alive and well in 23. I suspect it will be. If we pull anything from the archives, are we more likely to see jumping off of high amps, swinging in like Tarzan, wearing the loincloth, shooting a fire arrow on stage at a silhouette of some human, or riding in on a buffalo? Which of those is the most likely that we may see a uh, return in 2023? Well, I can tell you that I can still shoot a flaming arrow. 
but I cannot swing from ropes with a loincloth and I cannot jump off the amps because, you know, I had to have both of my knees replaced. Now, this is how failed our education is, Keith. I never heard the word meniscus until the doctor <laughs> said, you don't have any meniscus. I hope you enjoyed me leaping off those amplifiers all the years. And by the way, everybody, they were not Marshall amps. They were Fender amplifiers. I never jumped off a Marshall amp in my life. I jumped off of Fender amps thousands and thousands of times. And I hope you had a good time with that because I had to have both of my knees replaced. And I don't regret it, but here's a little uh, intellectual upgrade pursuit for my friends out there. I never smoked dope. I never smoked tobacco. I never got drunk. I never I was never a drinker. I never did drugs. Because I saw the damage it caused. I saw the reduction of level of awareness that it caused. I saw it turning people into liabilities instead of assets. But if someone would have told me <clears throat> that leaping off those amps would have compromised my mo mobility in my 60s and 70s, I literally would have stopped jumping off the amps and found something safer to do. So nowadays, I can still shoot the flaming arrow but there's no Buffalo that will let me straddle him. And I'm not doing any more Bruce Lee athleticisms. You know, you, you've left quite a wake, you know, I mean, obviously jumping off the amps and the things that you did, but maybe wearing the loincloth back in the day might have created the largest wake as you were going through town after city in the day. Well, there was a time, you know, there was no drugs. No, it was not. It was never sex, drugs and rock and roll. It was sex rock and roll, and more sex. And the loincloth was a pragmatic decision on my part so that I was more prepared for eventual proceedings. And all <laughs> I had to do was drop the loincloth to do the next show. Um, l l contemplate that if you dare. But I've just come out and admitted what everybody already knew. So thank you very much. Drive safely. And remember, I'm 74, and I happen to have married the sexiest creature on planet Earth. And Mrs. Nugent, she's going to have her own Real America's Voice uh, podcast coming up. Uh, she has all kinds of podcasts and does all kinds of wonderful, wonderful enlightenment and upgrade and, and spiritual guidance. So I'm the luckiest man in the world. And yes, those are bags under my eyes because I'm still getting up and going hunting every morning. But those are ammo bags, Remington ammo bags, actually. So everybody, it is 2023. The music is alive and well. Keep playing that killer music because it was the music of the 60s and 70s that's still the best music ever. You know what, Ted, we've talked about this in the past. You know, we're, we're contemplating bringing a guest on a week. I think that you might have the end, but I'd love to get uh, Shemaine on as a guest one night um, and talk about her new podcast and some of the things she's got going. How about that? Let's do that for sure next week. She would love to do it. She's the best of the best. All right. Well, tomorrow we'll get into the uh, weekend edition of the Nightly Nudes, which will be our first time talking about the great outdoors in 2023 on the Nightly Nudes. Come back again tomorrow for the weekend edition of the Nightly Nudes. Mm -hmm.